Hey, how's it going, guys? JaceCorporation.net here with the, my full review of the 13 inch uh, MacBook Air. It's a 2012 model. Uh, so, first, I'm going to just start off with some specs. It has a 13.3 inch uh, high resolution 1440 by 900 uh, matte display. This one is the model with uh, 128 gigabytes of flash storage built in. It has the 1.8 gigahertz Intel Core i5 and a turbo boost up to 2.8 gigahertz. It has the built-in Intel HD 4000 graphics, uh, FaceTime HD camera up top, so 720p video. It has uh, two USB ports, USB 3, one on each side, a SD card slot, and a Thunderbolt port. It also has a new MagSafe 2 adapter, which you see here. It has built-in uh, wireless in and Bluetooth stereo speakers, and it's rated up to seven hours of battery for or for the battery. Uh, now let's just take a look around and show you the design of it. It's really thin. It's really light. That's why they call it the MacBook Air. Uh, I really like it. And there you go. Just a quick look around. Now I'm going to show you the uh, startup and shutdown speed. So let's shut it now. And for this test, I'm going to actually, when it starts back up, I'm going to launch Google Chrome to show you, you know, that it's actually finished starting up and not still processing. Now I'm going to show you some everyday tasks. As you can see, I tested these sites on Chrome. So I was going to close Chrome and open up the new version of Chrome and then launch all these sites at once. I did have a hiccup here, but it wasn't because of the MacBook Air. It was actually because of Chrome. Uh, the site ESPN didn't launch or load correctly, but I did reload it. And you see, and then I started playing a uh, video on flash video on the separate sites and when I did switch windows I kept the flash video playing in the background so you can see with no video playing scrolling is smooth there's no lag at all and then I started playing multiple flash, flash videos at the same time so let's see we're gonna start this video full screen no hiccups no stuttering That video was still playing in the background and now I'm going to open up a 10 page word document and also a PowerPoint presentation uh, as I said the video is still playing in the background but I did mute the audio uh, for the purpose of this video and this review so you see it's gonna launch it's uh, office 2010 Mac edition obviously and it almost launched instantly 10 page paper scrolling quick while that video is still playing in the background and now I'm going to go ahead and launch full screen and then you know exit back out go to PowerPoint and launch the PowerPoint presentation that I did for a class last semester So everything's working smooth, no lag, everyday task. See the video still playing, I'm gonna full screen it. And then I'm gonna actually keep this video playing in the background still and open up uh, even more flash videos from CNN and Hulu. So that video is still playing in the background. I'm on CNN, scrolling is smooth, no lag, and they have a really uh, robust flash video on CNN and it's loading in the background and then Hulu as you see 
Now CNN is playing full screen. Also, no problems. And this is why the other ESPN video is still playing. And the Hulu video just started playing. So all the videos have been playing together, smooth, no problem. Still can scroll, you know, uh, still can open up, you know, articles and, and load fast and quickly with no lag. And that's pretty much it for the everyday test. Unless you, you know, do something different every day. I don't know, this is just personally what I pretty much do every day, internet and, you know, word processing or PowerPoint. So next, I'm going to show you guys some uh, benchmarks that's requested by you guys. So uh, first up is the disk speed. Apple did uh, state that these are rated, I believe, at 500 megabytes per second on the read. So I'm going to use a black magic tool and uh, run the benchmark, and I'll have a screenshot of the results, and you can watch as it's going on. Now I'm going to show you uh, SendBench or SignBench, however you pronounce it. This was requested by one of the viewers of my unboxing. So, you know, I decided to run this test. I sped it up uh, times five because it's kind of a long test and I didn't want to make the video long. But I also have a screenshot at the end of this test if you want to fast forward or look in the description. I have all the, uh, all the sections in the description. So... If you want to fast forward just to the end to see the results, feel free. In my opinion, this is a great uh, laptop to get. Coming from the 2010 MacBook Pro to this uh, is actually an upgrade. It's faster. Uh, the screen is better. Uh, sound quality on here, I had a question about that in my other video. It's uh, about the same quality as the MacBook Pro uh, 2010 model, but it's louder or it gets a little louder. And I would recommend this laptop if you're in the market for a laptop. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I will try to answer them if I can. And uh, make sure you check out, if you want to, my unboxing video. And subscribe to this video, or subscribe to my channel, uh, JC Corporation Media. Follow us on Twitter. Like this video if it helped you out. Even if it discouraged you and encouraged you, you know, to buy the MacBook Air. Do whatever you feel is right for you. But personally, I would recommend this laptop. Uh, have a nice day.